Bah, bah, da, da. Weird badness. Well, hello there. Uh, it's been a while for us, but not a while for you because we haven't even started uploading yet. But <laughs> here it is. It's us, uh, Weird Badness, uh, here to try some more whiskey. And I think, unless you've seen us on uh, me on Facebook, my personal Facebook, probably the first cigar. I think so. See, I don't yeah. even know if I posted cigars on Facebook, so it might be new. But we have, we aren't new to cigars. A little new. Yeah, we're far, far from experts. Still finding our way. You know, we uh, we can light the right end most of the time. <laughs> so close enough. So the reason we're doing a combined video today, we normally do one item at a time so far, uh, is this right here is a special edition. So back in the '90s, they used to make a cigar malt, and I guess they got rid of it. Because uh, people were confused that if they needed a cigar or not, you don't. So they brought it back. This is the Cigar Malt Reserve by Dalmore. So it's a special edition. And because I got a hold of that, I decided I grabbed the Dalmore 15. And we're going to see if, if really, if uh, it, it it is improved by a cigar, or if it's significantly different than the 15 and all that. So let's go ahead. In all and fairness, on. when we smoke a cigar, we definitely have a beverage of some sort uh, with it. It's not a, it's not always even alcohol, but we definitely usually have a beverage. Normally at least water, and we do have some water over there yeah. inside the camera. We wanna so here is the Downmore Cigar Reserve. So it's the re-release, not the original. If you had that back in the day, I don't think that exists. You can probably still find it. It's a very cool bottle, it's got the antler on it. You know, even if you I don't know if you've had Downmore, you like it or not, you gotta admit they do a pretty good bottle. Yeah. That's pretty cool. So that is the cigar malt reserve. They're kind of secretive about it, between 10 to 15 years old, and it's a little bit maltier than their regular Dalmore formulation, they say. And here you go. In the green is your Dalmore 15. I've got a buddy out there. Shout out to Evan, uh, who has the Dalmore 18, because he is a, uh, a take back seer. I was, we were supposed <laughs> slacker, to split man. the bottle. We were supposed to split the bottle, and then he wanted to keep the whole thing. So shout out to him for betraying my trust. So, so let's look at this uh, down more. I'm not going to read everything up here. We do want to keep our videos nice, short, and sweet, but uh, it says a lot of a lot of stuff. But let's go with aroma, cinnamon, vanilla, and red fruits, palate, tropical fruits, banana toffee, vanilla ice cream, and a finish of orange zest, uh, bergamot, and crushed spices. I don't know what bergamot, bergamot, B-E-R-G-A-M-O-T. Spice, but you can look it up. Let's not dilly-dally since we have four things yeah. to do. I'll go ahead and... Well, you can, you can go ahead and look that up. I'm going to go ahead and we'll just split the glass so we can do that. And now we've both, as you can tell by the bottle, this is not how they come. Uh, they have been opened and drank before. I just put them back in the bottle because in boxes because they are cool boxes, especially this. They did it right with Cigar Reserve. I mean, that's way cooler than just a flip top. So, you know, if you're going to do it, do it. You got, you got me info on that bergamot yeah it's uh it's a plant uh it's used in tea uh, essential oil uh well no idea what it smells like but apparently it's got a finish like a bergamot looks like. and so what are the cigars we have here huh. mr sir i guess it's considered a herb uh the okay these cigars i got the we have over. two cigars and i'm my mispronunciation. It's a Taino. It's uh, produced by Sereno Cigars. According to this, the tasting notes are cream, cedar, honey graham, a subtle mocha, and a subtle pepper. The wrapper's Ecuadorian Habano. The binder is Corojo 99. Excuse my pronunciation. The filler is Nicaraguan. And it's a 6x52, so it's a little slimmer, uh, longer cigar. It's slim, longer. Probably not a super long smoke because it is slimmer, but a decently long smoke. And it's got a closed foot. Just noticed that. Cuts pretty well. And they, he was saying, they smell very similar. Yeah. They have, the, this is brighter, kind of more hay-like. Yeah, that's the F. This is a little deeper. Benam, uh, Robusto, number one. Number one Robusto. A subtle spice. Doesn't really say what the spice is. Cream, nuts, mocha, and citrus. The binder's Ecuadorian Connecticut. I'm sorry, the wrapper is Ecuadorian Connecticut. The binder is Nicaraguan. The filler is Dominican and Nicaraguan. It's a little bit thicker 
shorter cigar. It's a five by fifty. Uh, and uh, actually, nice too, but it's got a little more of that, like like fresh cut hay. I think I get that smell a lot with cigars. According to the site I'm looking okay. at, they're both tamer. similarly priced. They're probably around eight to ten bucks to buy. Well, I see. Uh, well, actually, you know, let's 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 give a, a little note. So this is the cigar malt. This is the one that is supposedly it's it's extra malty, and so it really isn't finished until you're you're I sticking it with a cigar. I guess they made this with cigar smoking in yeah. mind. Yeah, so that is the story, and they're sticking to it. Or they didn't for a few years, and then they brought it back, so they're sticking to it. And this is one of the more extensive downmores out there until you go to the 18. So it's actually between, like I said, they, they keep it a little secret, between 10 to 15 years old, when this is all 15, this is significantly more expensive. Uh, we're not rich. We just found a heck of a good deal. We can go over that in another video. We can. Yeah, we'll, we'll probably show you all the scotches we got. So they are right. It is very malty compared to mm -hmm. the uh, 15. So that's like their basic. And they got a similar, I think, I always think Dalmore smells and tastes like walnuts. You know, we, we're not actually, we, we can't list 50 different things it smells like, but that's what I get. Our palates are not that And this great. is just like a bit more, like, you know, a craisin, dried fruity, and, and the, that indescribable maltiness. Or malty. Are, okay, these are different ones, right? Yeah, and now I'm making sure I'm not getting them confused. That's the 15. That's the 15. If I switched them on camera... That's yeah, different. there's definitely a difference. I, I mean, so I can This tell on the that. left, keep that on the right. Yeah, well, gotcha. I'm going to go ahead and get my... I missed that. <laughs> cigar. Yeah, I almost switched them there. And if I did, that'd be really funny. But these are significantly different enough that I think I could... Yeah. Them. If I can... I did pick out Knob Creek and Booker's. It's my little electric cigar. Uh, I'm pretty proud of myself there. Because I did a live stream a long time ago on Facebook, and I get almost every whiskey wrong. That's right when I started. And yes, we are extra. We're lighting it with cedar wood. <laughs> so technically, I believe it's red cedar, which is not cedar. A little more you know there. All right, let's get that puffed up. Mm. Mm. I was talking too much, a little, little, could be a little more lit up here. Okay, a little, I got a little extra piece here, I'm going to go right along. Very cool, eh? That was a present from your brother, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. I believe it's dead. Means I'll have to charge it up. All right. Look at that top. It still is not one of the light. This is why people use torches, but you know. Do you get lit? Yeah, it's lit enough. I think it's going to burn. Your center's lit there. Well, yeah, I know. That's not dilly dally. We will probably leave and come back and let you know how the cigar is finished up. And maybe light them a bit better. But this is mostly about testing their claim that you just need a cigar with this malt. It's just not right. And though we have had this, I don't believe we've had it with a cigar. I just remember that one being quite a bit different from the 15 year Yeah, they're, they are for, you know, I'm assuming similar recipes. Oh, I didn't say. So the regular Dalmore. Got an aroma of orange marmalade, cinnamon and nutmeg, palette of mandarin, vanilla, ginger, and crushed apples, and a finish of peppery spice and oak. So, you know, quite a bit. They describe it as quite a bit different, and you know what? I would agree with them. I doubt I could pick out all those flavors, but they are different scotches for what is, I'm assuming, it's made in a similar place, probably a similar recipe, similar style of scotch. I, I'm not quite sure. Oh, it's a Highland single malt, so from the northern area of Scotland. Huh. Say cinnamon and vanilla is what they're claiming. 
See that? It's pretty good. I keep looking at the camera. I suppose uh, I should, when I need to speak up, should look over. The mic is over there if you can see it. See, so, so there's two philosophies with pairing scotch and cigars. Is do you go double down on the smoke, so you get your obviously smoky cigar, they're always smoky. You get a nice smoky islay, and you just reserve yourself to being smoked. Or do you get something like this that's kind of like overly malty and you balance it out yourself? My philosophy for this kind of stuff is pretty much you gotta figure out what you like and you gotta kinda it's, it, it's fun to reach out and try new things, but pretty much once you find something you like, you're probably going to like that. I might run and grab some Octomore and we can try. That's the most peated, at least by the chemical given off by Pete, the most peated smoky scotch in the world. I gotta say that that scotch does complement the cigar pretty well, but I kind of... It definitely, with the, the smell of tobacco in the air... It smells a lot better. It's because it's a little kind of like overripe fruit. It's a little strong. And it definitely smells better. And I'd say it tastes more like a standard scotch when you've got the taste yeah, I of thought, smoke. I thought without the cigar, it was a little sweet. It's a little. If you're not a scotch drinker, it's probably not going to drink taste sweet at all to you. But if you're used to scotch, this one is almost kind of like... Like just sitting there drinking a glass of like heavy port. It was almost yeah, too it's, much it's... in the world of scotch compared to maybe, you know, an actual port wine. Nothing like that. But it was very heavy compared to this. Let's see. See how this fares up. It still, still tastes like walnuts to me. That's what this tastes like, you know, young, maybe a tiny bit underripe walnut. That's what this always tastes like to me. And I give you finished notes, but I'm really bad at it. I can taste it. It definitely, that one lingers. I can still taste it in the back of my throat. But I just, you know, we are a little new to this. Not always coming up with the right words. But they say peppery and spice and oak. And I agree. There's not much fruitiness on the, on the finish there. And this one supposedly is orange zest bergamot and crushed spices so maybe a little more fruit on the finish that one you know i would say there's a little bit of oranginess maybe, maybe a little tropicalness it's definitely fruitier this one is i don't know how to say it other than raw walnut it's got more of that note to it and this it's very subtle and just the Fruitiness that's almost non-existent here is, is cranked up, and the walnut is is pushed to the back. So it's, I it's, did a terrible job. <laughs> yeah, it looked like just the center was lit. Mine's kind of evened up a little bit there. So, did it's you agree fruit. with me that the fifteen was better back when we tried it off, Kim? What was yes. Your two? Now having. Smoked a cigar. Has the cigar malt? Well, I guess two questions. Has it improved with a cigar? And is it has it improved beyond the 15? In my opinion, the, the scotch that's basically made to smoke, supposedly made to smoke a cigar, is a lot better with a cigar than it is by yeah, itself. I would agree that they're correct there. But does it put it above? I'm not even sure if I know. Does it put above the 15? Would I go out and buy the the down more, the red box down more for particularly to smoke with cigars? Don't know. I don't really think so. Uh, Same but if deal. I, but if <laughs> I but if I had it on hand, would I smoke? I probably I could consider only drinking it with cigar. Yeah, it's, it's definitely better. But is it above? Not necessarily would you pay for it, but, you know, if you were, you were dead set on buying a Dalmore and both of these are up there, and let's say even say they're the same price, are you getting this? Because this, does the cigar make it good enough that puts it above the 50? Well, I mean, well, as you said earlier, we kind of had a uh, bargain opportunity to get a bunch of pretty nice bottles for inexpensive. 
So uh, normally, if we're going out to if you're going out to buy just some scotch, it wouldn't really make any difference to me. I try to probably get the. Uh, I wouldn't really care which one I got, but if I already had the down or if it, or if it, you know, I mean, I don't always smoke a cigar when I have scotch. So, you know, I would say, eh, it kind of just depends on the price point. And I think the 15 year old is more, uh, I would probably drink it more often by itself. I don't know that I would drink the red one by itself very often because I like the, I actually like the, just by itself, I like the green box better, the 15 better. So it's worth trying. So uh, I, we'll, we'll go into this detail later in another video, but we basically got these half price. So that's why we have them. And this is normally 180 and this I believe is normally 120. So I would say go for the 15. It's it's all yeah. around better. And but this, if if you got the money and you really like cigars, it's a, it's a cooler box. I think the red's a cooler color. I do think it does something interesting with the cigar, and maybe that's yeah. all marketing. But you know, there's something interesting there, and you know, it is rare. And these are probably not going to be around forever. So if you see it and you got the money, or you see it for half off, I'd get it. But. It's pretty the much the the way to go. It's pretty Even much if they're the same price, they're close, but the 15 is much cheaper. So I would go go with that. And and if you don't so smoke cigars. But if I mean if you already have a scotch that you a, 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 a scotch cigar combo that you like, I don't know that it's going to be worth it to go out and run down this down more to to do it. But if you're just looking for something yeah. When it was first out and it was about the same price or even cheaper than the 15, I see why people liked it. But again, this is a special re-release, so it is a little pricier, uh, and you're paying for that. And it probably should be around the same as the 15 or a bit cheaper. should be about probably $100, $110 scotch, you know, $190. That's a lot. You, you can get some pretty, you can you can almost get to 18, 20 years at that price. Yeah, maybe not, but close. You, you can get older than 15 for that much, so... You know, something to think about. So I think we're going to uh, go ahead and take a break, finish our cigars, and maybe we'll have completely different opinions because we're at about 17 minutes already. So definitely our longest video. Yeah, we'll edit some of this probably. <laughs> we'll see. Weird Badness out.